When you're connecting with somebody in online dating apps, there are three messages that you should never send. These are the messages that most people are likely to send and if you send them, you are gonna end up getting ignored just like everybody else. I know this because I teach men and women and whenever I teach women or whenever I teach men, I will look through the text message threads to see the kind of messages that are being sent and after training over 300,000 people in the last 16 years, I'm telling you for a fact that I know the messages that people send that just do not get replies. They are the following messages. Number one, happy Monday or happy Wednesday or happy Thursday, whatever it is. This is one of the worst messages. There's no substance to it. You don't learn anything about the other person. And worse, when somebody goes to their, their inbox and they see like seven people saying like happy Monday, it doesn't make them want to reply to any of them. It puts you in the same category as all these other people. And the worst part is maybe you're interesting, maybe you're cool, but if somebody else who's kind of lame has sent the same message and they looked at that person's profile first, they're probably going to ignore yours anyway and not even look at it because they're going to make an association that anyone that sends happy Monday is kind of a loser and so you're probably a loser too. Got it? So you don't want to send a message that anyone else has said. Next, you don't want to say anything that is a generic greeting. Hi, hello, how are you doing? None of those. Once again, when you send somebody a generic meeting, you're actually putting all the pressure on the other person to come up with interesting conversation. And in a scenario, when you're trying to get somebody who's attractive, they're gonna have choices. That means they're gonna have a lot of different people communicating with them. And with so many people saying, hi, hello, good morning, that's a lot of pressure on them to have to come up with all sorts of different conversational replies. Make it easy on them to respond to you by not using those and using something that stands out, something very different. So no generic greetings. And lastly, you don't wanna do generic compliments. A generic compliment is a compliment that isn't founded on any truth. For example, you're beautiful, your eyes are gorgeous, you're sexy, I think you're stunning, you know, I like you, you're the wind in my sails. None of these phrases mean anything. It's like, why is she beautiful? Why do her eyes look good? Without any kind of justified reason or explanation behind the compliment, it just sounds fake. It literally could be you just copy and pasting, you're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful, to a whole bunch of women waiting for one of them to respond to this really lame compliment that you don't really mean and they don't believe, right? So these are three text messages that you never wanna send to start a conversation in a dating app. Instead, you wanna send something that makes you stand out from the crowd. Now, I've got a number of cut and paste um, examples of things you can use that really do help you stand out, but nothing beats just actually looking at somebody's profile and picking out a very specific thing that you know they care about but I try to pick the thing that is not obvious. So what I'll do is I'll look at the profile and I'll see what are most people gonna comment on. Most people are gonna comment on the easiest thing. So it'll be like uh, you know, a movie or it will be, if they're into sports, it'll be the sports or their food. It'll be something that's really generic and easy. I try to find something that isn't really normal that I can comment on. For example, if I notice that in one of their pictures, they're taking it in a location that I recognize, but it isn't mentioned anywhere in the profile, I'll say to them, hey, in picture three, is that, and then I'll put the name of the location. First of all, as they go through their messages, everyone else is like, hi, hey, beautiful. But mine is, hey, in picture three, which just stands out. So they're gonna be at picture three and they're gonna click on it and then they're gonna confirm whether that's the location or not. And it shows that I actually paid attention to their profile. It shows that I see things a little bit differently from everybody else and I'm already really starting to build rapport because if I recognize the location, then I've got something to talk about. But it doesn't have to be a location. It could be a book in the background or it could be an item of furniture that you recognize they got from, from Wayfair or Ikea or wherever it is. It can be anything along those lines, but just try and look for that little piece of information that the average person wouldn't spot and that's gonna make you stand out and that's gonna make it far more likely they respond to you and wanna have a conversation with you. If you got something out of the dating advice that I shared with you in this video, then I'd like to give you something else. I've created a completely free guide that breaks down how to be naturally attractive to women so they chase you. If you're interested in getting it, then look for the link in the description of this video and you'll be able to go there, click it and download that guide completely for free today. Go and get the guide.